So you have a diabetic wound. Welcome to Podiatry Explained. I'm Dr. Kilfoyle, and here we're going to talk about what happens if you were to develop a diabetic wound. If you have diabetes and it's been uncontrolled for a long period of time, or if it's been moderately controlled for an even longer period of time, you develop something called neuropathy. Neuropathy means that you have a decreased sensation in your, in your feet, at least in this context. Pretty much neuro, meaning having to do with nerves. Pathy, meaning something is wrong with it. Um, this patient here has neuropathy of his feet. He doesn't have a perfect sensation of his feet. And because of that, he was walking uh, too much uh, in an abnormal position with abnormal pressure. And for most people, they would feel this blister or wound developing on their foot and they would adjust the way that they're walking. This would happen subconsciously. You walk the same amount of pressure as everybody else, but these guys, they don't feel it. So because he doesn't feel it, he's having an issue and it's causing this abnormal pressure and it just doesn't get any better. So here in this particular video, we are de-roofing the skin that's on the top of it because there's gonna, there's a wound underneath and we don't want bacteria feeding off the drainage from this wound with a roof over its head so it can prosper. Um, that's how these things get infected. So we're removing the roof, this is called a de-roofing, and then we later in the video we will do a wound debridement. And we talked about debridements before, but this is a de-roofing. When you have a diabetic wound, it's very important to offload these wounds so you stop putting pressure on it. You're going to decrease your activity. You're going to have to make sure that you fight any infection that's been going on. Sometimes these wounds, they are caused by a lack of blood flow. So you will need to increase the amount of blood flow you have. If you don't have the nutrition necessary to heal these wounds, you'll need to supplement your nutrition with protein. The specifics of these things are, you know, moot. All you need is good food, good diet. You need to stop walking all over it. You need to fight the infection. If you don't have good blood flow, you need to be revascularized. That's it. Go to your podiatrist if you have a wound on your foot. Go to the podiatrist who knows what he's doing and specializes in wound care. Now, here's this part of the, the video is the debridement. We're using a curatage. You can see the essential area. There's no bleeding when I scratch it. That area is necrotic. That is not a good thing. And your body is likely going to reject that from from its body and that wound may eventually probe to bone. Right now, it does not probe to bone. Meaning probe to bone, I, if I poke it with something that's not too sharp, but blunt, and it doesn't go through. Guys, thanks for watching. This has been a shorter version of a podiatry explained video. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more content. And always remember, every day is the best day of your life.